Welcome everybody to our show. This is Custom Fab Garage on our channel Octane TV on YouTube. Make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the new content that comes out weekly and even every day. Here they are out of the saran wrap that they put on them, or packaging. They do have some swirl marks in them, I noticed, but we can just buff those out. But they look really, really good. Quality looks really nice. Hopefully the longevity of them is what I'm concerned about is they'll last for a long time is what I'm hoping. That's why I'm making this video to show people how good they are. This is how bright they are with the this is just the running lights right here this isn't even the brake lights and this is the mid smoke on the lux so you can see pretty good through it honestly like it's not that dark as bad as people make it out to be it looks super dark but you can still see it pretty good today we're going to be changing out our stock taillights they are actually wrapped in the lux mid smoke film so we're going to be taking these out and doing the new spec D tail lights today. So hopefully, you know, everybody will kind of get off my back about how dark my tail lights are because everybody seems to hate them so much. So I'm going to change those out with the black spec D tail lights. So I'll let you know. Sorry, these look really, they're just dirty from being outside. Super dirty. But um, today we're going to be taking these out. The stock ones covered in Lux film and mid smoke. And we're going to be doing the new spec D black tail lights so hopefully everybody likes them here's the installation instructions that spec d gives you with the lights which are very nice i'm surprised most people don't even give you nice instructions so it tells you kind of step by step how to take out the tail lights and put them back in so it's pretty nice of them to actually give you that because most places don't even give you that all right so we're opening the box and they come in this sealed stuff um, here is the tail light here. Well, one of them actually. So, there you go. And that's what it looks like. It does look really, really nice. So, hopefully, they'll last and not fill up with moisture and act like OEM. I'm hoping because I'm afraid to take parts off this car if they're going to fill up with moisture or water or anything like that. But love these new taillights. These look awesome. Can't wait to put them in. Here they are out of the saran wrap that they put on them, or packaging. They do have some swirl marks in them, I noticed, but we can just buff those out. But they look really, really good. Quality looks really nice. Hopefully the longevity of them is what I'm concerned about, is they'll last for a long time, is what I'm hoping. That's why I'm making this video, to show people how good they are. The passenger side right now, and it says to remove this little piece right here. So we're gonna take that off. Yep, that just comes right off. And it says, I don't know, those are factory wires? That's crazy. Um, so it says you need to remove these pieces right here. And they're like hand screws, so that we're gonna turn those and get those to come out. So there is where the one is behind this pouch. And then if you go up here to this little hole, boom, there's the other one. So there's the other hand screw. So take both of those out right there, and then the whole tail light will come out. So we took off the two pieces and we pulled the tail light out, which was pretty easy. And right down here, that big old black plug right there, 
we unplugged that from right here. And there is a part right here that you'll want to pull out on that has like a little plunger like that. Sorry about my focus, but that's really about it. And the tail lights out. So we're ready to put the new one in. Just be careful of this plunger right here because that could break, but now we're ready for the new tail light to go in. So I'm already noticing a big difference between both of these. This one's stud is short. So if you look at that stud, look how short that is. And if you look at the spec D stud, look at how long the stud is on there. And it's causing this to stick out right here. So I'm gonna switch the stud and see if that, take the stock wood off and put it on the aftermarket one and see if that fixes it. Look at, there's the difference. And obviously it's different on the end. One's pointed and one's more narrow and the nut's different. So I'm gonna switch it out and see what happens. Hopefully that'll help. All right, so the tail light's in. It does look good. So switching that pin definitely works better because otherwise it will stick out another eighth of an inch, which is kind of out far right now, but much better than what it was. It was out like an eighth of an inch. Like this part was just sticking out because that's the only thing that holds in on this side. But it does look really good. Looks clean. So there's that side and there's that side. So there's the brake light. Pretty, pretty similar. I mean, because you can see from the top. Oh, wow! You want to turn on the turn signal, buddy, on the right? Oh, turn signals work. You want to hit the brakes, or if you want to put it in neutral and let off the brakes. So this is with. Okay, there's without the brakes. So those are the running lights. I thought those were the brake lights. Oh, that's cool. So those are the actual running lights. So, wow. Those look really good. Tell me when you put her in reverse. You have to pull that little lever thing, that little silver thing, pull it up with your fingers. There you go. There's the reverse lights. All right. This is how close and how tight everything is on the stock tail light, okay? Just so everybody can understand where I'm coming from with this. That's how stock it, you know, fits in there. It looks super clean. When you go to these spec Ds, it bumps it out. And this is even with me changing the plunger. So there's a gap around here, which, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but my car's wrapped and it was wrapped to the taillight. So now I've kind of got a little bit of a gap, but you might put some other stripping yeah, we could put some cool. caulk or stripping in there, but yeah, they look really cool when they're all done. Damn, I really do like those taillights, man. All right, we got the driver's side in. Uh, it fits a little better it fits a little more snug up into the side I did change this one to the factory one again um, fits a lot better The only thing I don't like about it is it sticks out right here a little bit not much I'm not bitching, but that's a lot but right here because my wrap was cut to where the other taillight was before It's a little short right here And now you can see this spot from where my wrap was and isn't but these taillights are definitely not like perfect But they they do look really nice like the actual lens and the outside of them they look really really nice they definitely need to be polished because they have a lot of swirl marks and stuff in them especially underneath my led lights but they do fit really really good this one sticks out a little bit more than the other side um even when changing that post but you know i mean it's not like they look terrible they're just not perfect not like oem but I absolutely love them. They look great. So I'm super happy with them. I just hope the longevity of them is what matters the most to me as long as they don't fill up with water and they actually still light up after at least three or six months. We'll see. I'll make another video on that as well. There's the turn 
signal. 